You've uh, programmed in Rust a lot. What do you uh, What do you love about Rust? What are the strengths? What are the weaknesses? Maybe you can speak about memory management that you already mentioned. Yeah, the challenge of memory management that uh, several of these languages address. But yeah, what do you love about Rust? What I love about Rust, I I love that it's that uh, the ability to free the memory that you're using is directly tied to the stack. So whenever you create something, there's a stack variable or there's some amount of stack memory, whether it's a pointer off to the heap, a pointer and a length. So, you know, some amount of memory on the stack and then some memory on the heap, because like a string is not all on the stack. It's some on the heap, some on the stack. And when that stack variable goes out of scope and gets cleaned up, it also cleans up what's on the heap. So it kind of simplifies this whole idea of, whoops, I forgot to free my memory. It just does it for you. So it's not a garbage collector, which will do it sometime later. It's not like C where you have to call it yourself. It's somewhere in between. Now, there's a lot of strategies people use, um, arenas and all that, that make that C part much easier. I'm just not even mentioning it, but it just makes it a lot easier. But Rust does that really beautifully, and it's just like a really cool idea about it. And I really like that. And the second thing that I think Rust does really, like, is such a good thing is that mutability of something is you have to specify it. So you don't just create a variable and then mutate it. You have to say, this is not only a variable, it's a mutable variable. Mm -hmm. And I think that just makes code really readable and really understandable. Because anything that does not have the word mute next to it, you know for a fact it cannot change. So there's some rules I'll, around that, but you get the general idea. Unlike most programming languages, you have to explicitly state that this is going to be changed. This is going to be changed. Yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, it's safe. It's it's trying to be and and the the safety might be it's uh, create limitations. Let us consult the AI overlords. Rust is a blazing fast, memory efficient systems programming language that emphasizes performance, type safety, and concurrency. Uh, the language enforces memory safety without using a garbage collector, as you said. Instead, utilizing a unique quote borrow checker that tracks object lifetimes at compile time. This prevents common programming errors like null pointer, dereferencing, and memory leaks, and so on. Yeah. So you've also spoken about metaprogramming. Um, which of these languages do you like for the metaprogramming? I love metaprogramming in C++, but it's a giant mess. At least when I program C++, C++ 17 standard, I believe. It's just, it's just a mess, especially a mess to debug. Yeah. I, I would consider myself kind of a metaprogramming newbie. I have only solved some amount of problems with it. Uh, I love. I'm. That's kind of like what this year is for is for me to really. I want to see where the ends can go in that. So I don't have a strong opinion on this one. Uh, Zig. One thing I really like about Zig is that the metaprogramming is also the language itself. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to like. There's not. There's not an alternative. So with Rust, there's an alternative. When you create a macro, you have to do the macro syntax. With Zig, it's just. It is the thing. You just program it. You add the word comp time if you want it to be a compile time only. So you can do like you can create the list of prime numbers at compile time in Zig, which is kind of an interesting, unique thing. So you have code that executes at compile time, and then you can take advantage of the result of it at runtime. So neat, right? Like that's how I'd look at it. Uh, but again, I haven't I haven't used it to the point where I feel like I can super authoritatively talk about it. 